In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different than you or me. He worked in a satellite loading bay, just polishing switches to pay his way. He did his job well with a cheerful face, but his voice is getting like him, so they shot him in the face. Says when you got lemons, you make lemonade. Now keep in mind he can't control when the movies begin or end. Because he used the extra parts to make his robot friends. Robot roll call gamba. Servo. Tipsy. Crow. If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts Just to beat yourself, it's just a show I should really just relax For Mystery Science Theater 3000 Everybody, as you know, on Earth it's the uh, holiday time, and I'm starting to decorate the satellite of love. As you can see, uh, Crow volunteered to be cryogenetically frozen because uh, uh, we don't have any, uh, you know, spruce trees up here on the satellite of love. So uh, we decorated him, and um, let's see, uh, Cambot. I think we got some uh, digitized footage that he preserved the moment in pictures yesterday. So why don't you run that and show what happened when we froze? Hey, Joel, I, I looked up suspended animation in the dictionary, and I don't think that this is going to be any good at all. Uh, uh, uh! Yeah, I told you guys it would work. So, um, anyway, uh, we had such a great response last week from showing the Gameron versus uh, Baragon uh, film, which is was about the giant turtle uh, facing off with the giant... Uh, lizard with the battering ram tongue that uh, I dug into the archives and found the original Gameron self-titled Gameron EP uh, anyway uh, you'll believe a giant uh, mutated uh, turtle can fly we got movie sign I'll see you on the other side bye
here we are. It looks wild, huh? You can say that again. Not a very good place for a vacation. Let's start unloading the equipment. We won't need everything at once. Hello, how do you do, sir? We are from the exploration ship Chidori Maru. I know, I know. Look, look up there! Oh, the devil's bird! The engines are silent because they're avoiding the fighter planes. I wonder who they are. The war even comes to this Eskimo village. Soon there won't be any peace anywhere. There's nothing more tragic than a war in an Eskimo village. Captain? Yes? Captain, the ice is getting thicker. Shall we keep going? Of course. We must get through. Do you think Dr. Hidaka will learn anything from the Eskimos? I certainly hope he does. Yes. Understand what the big mystery is. Unidentified aircraft, sir. Have you spotted anything on your radar screen? No, sir. It must be coated with anti electric wave paint, sir. Okay. Operator, hand me the mic. Yes, sir. Calling all planes, fighter planes, based in the Arctic Ocean. This is your commander calling. Over. This is the strategic fighter. Over. There is an unidentified aircraft flying on course 84.27 degrees north latitude and 176.58 degrees east longitude. Intercept and escort it to the base. If it resists, shoot it down. Roger. Nice guys. Captain, will they attack us? I doubt it. I think they will. Can't you tell by the planes? If you don't answer, we will take you to the American Air Base. Break off. Give chase. Answer immediately. What is your nationality and flight purpose? They're ignoring you. All planes, clear for action. War has come to the Eskimo village. It looks like that airplane carried atomic weapons. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Did you see the force of that explosion as it hit the ground? What a great story. Be careful, though. Don't go into that area. There's radiation there. Uh-oh, you know what that means. Atomic turtle that's as strong as he can be. Camera. 
who's got a head the size of a harvester silo. Camera. He can walk through any snowplow's fury. They used a snowblower for that effect. Calling fighter planes. Answer. Calling fighter planes. Answer. Calling fighter planes. Answer. All right, I'm a fighter plane. That guy needs a speech teacher, if you ask me. What are you doing about it? Find out where it's coming from. Yes, sir. That guy needs acting classes. He needs a voice teacher. Can I fix that tusk for you? his hair. You can see that's very sharp. Ouch. That's his soft pinky underbelly. It's kind of his uh, lower back area. would be his foot. Oh, that's his head. That's his head. Chief, I heard there were strange giant turtles on the Arctic continent. Do you know anything about them? Enough for you. You're Dr. hammered. Hidaka. Dr. Hidaka, the Third World War might begin any minute. We'll all be killed. Why should we bother about giant turtles? Yes, maybe you're right. Is the radio working? Can you contact the ship? I've been trying, but the atmospheric conditions are bad and I can't make contact. We're cut off. What'll we do? All right, then, let's go back. Right. Put an antenna yeah. on the igloo. Goodbye, Chief. Thank you. Bye. Mr. Hidaka? Yes? This is the legendary stone handed down from our fathers. Then is this the turtle that lived on the Arctic continent? Yes. It is the devil's envoy, Gamera. Gamera? Then my theory was right after all. But you see that wave-like pattern? It doesn't match the other carvings. Excuse me, Chief. Where is it from? I don't know. I know. It brings evil. We may have hit upon something very important. Could it be a creature that's not known? It's hard to say. There are waves around it. It must be aquatic. Do you think that it could be a prehistoric creature or from another planet? Anything's possible. In this movie, anything's possible. What do you think it is, Captain? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Very strange. It looks like it's a kind of a sea creature. Or monster. Or both. Maybe it's a sea creature that thinks it's a monster. Or it's a monster that thinks it's a sea creature. I think he thinks your boat is cute. Abandon ship immediately! Abandon ship immediately! Commander! Commander! A message from the ship! Emergency! They're abandoning ship! No time to order lunch. Commander. Last message. 
from a Chidori Maru. Hmm, huge turtle. 60 meters. What's going on around here? I don't know, sir. Looks like a huge turtle made its appearance. Well, I will have to order up the observation planes to find out what's going on. I know what's going on. Found the spot where the research ship went down, but can't see either the crew or the giant turtle. be any town. Well, maybe not. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have special news and an extra guest, Dr. Hidaka. Good afternoon. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon. Please sit down. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Hidaka, a Japanese zoologist, will now comment on the great turtle which made his appearance in the Arctic Ocean recently. Dr. Hidaka, please. Ladies and gentlemen, it's believed that there used to be a, a very great continent in the northern Arctic regions. That was An really extraordinary creature a turtle. There, whose name was Gamera, a giant turtle, a monster of another age. And this is a, a legendary stone handed down by the Eskimos. This Gamera has been hibernating for thousands of years, imprisoned under an iceberg. However... He revived after the iceberg exploded as the result of a of an atomic bomb. Gamera then destroyed the research ship we were using, killing every one of the crew. We three were not on board then. And so my daughter and I were spared, and also a young reporter. I warn all of you that Gamera is violent and must therefore be approached with the utmost caution. But also... Gamera is expected to die shortly due to radioactivity, and so I say, I pray that this will happen soon for the peace of the entire world, and that the monster will vanish once and for all in the depths of the sea, forever. Only, as a zoologist, I greatly regret the loss of a creature originating in the dawn of time. Thank you. You want to make a museum with his body, probably, hollow out his shell. That's what he'd like, I bet. All the newspapers of the world. He didn't like you. I never saw a ball of fire before that changed its course. Ah, maybe it's the flying saucer that I heard them talk about so much lately. You're hammered. We have special news bulletin tonight. Flying saucers have been sighted in various parts of the world. Over London, New York, and Cape Town. Even an old farmer outside of Tokyo claims he saw one. Flying saucers are the sole topic of conversation. Gamera has lost its popularity. Gamera was hit by radiation. Maybe he's dead by now. Anyhow, I wish he had been done away with for good, for the peace of the world. You really mean everyone on the Chidoromaru was killed? And that the three of us are the only survivors? Yes, my dear. It happened when we were at the Eskimo village studying the ancient carvings on that stone. Doctor, there's something that I wanted to tell you. Before we started out for the Eskimo village, while we were still on board, the photographers and reporters drew lots for this assignment to see who'd accompany you. 
And you're the lucky man who won the draw, right? Lucky indeed. There were at least seven or eight cameramen along with us. They were not so lucky. All of them perished in the Arctic Ocean. Yes. It was a lottery with human lives. Oh. Yep. Excuse me. One of those photographers made me an offer. A bottle of whiskey to exchange places. But I didn't accept it. I guess running around the ice sounded a lot more interesting than staying on board, right? Yes, that's partly it. Only I had something else in mind. Catherine, the real reason is that I wanted to be with you. What? Now it comes You're out. You're the lucky charm of the expedition. Catherine, I'll always consider that you saved my life. But you can't. Yes, yes, because it's true. I'll always feel that way. You brought me luck. It's a love triangle with Gamera. The ocean floor. Hello. Nice to see you. Beginning of all life. I was actually coming to see you. Is that so? Has Kenny done anything wrong? Not really, but he's done a very strange drawing. I thought you should see it. It looks like a turtle. Yes. That's all he ever draws. He repeats it every day. A type of obsession. Kenny's not a bad student. Only he's very moody. He even has a little turtle that he carries everywhere. Oh, no. He brings it to school with him? Yes. He seems to cling to it. The other students make fun of him. They think that he's strange. Maybe the turtle's clinging to him. Kenny's had a difficult childhood. Yes. He's all alone. His mother died when he was very young. I see. Anyway, tell him no more turtles. At least not in school. Yes, I'll talk to him. Don't worry. Bye. That little scoundrel. I met Kenny's teacher today. Oh? And what did he say? That Kenny was quite an expert at drawing turtles. When I was his age, I used to draw girls. <laughs> and eating them. Finished eating. Kenny? What are you doing with that? Who's all this food for? Daddy, Kenny's taking some food for his turtle again. Kenny, I told you I didn't want that pet in the house anymore. It's making you neglect your schoolwork. Come inside. Come on. I know how much you love your turtle. But there are other things in life just as important, like having friends. You don't want to live alone, do you? Hmm. Well, the turtle's his Set friend. I gotta get going. Let him return to his natural home. It'd be better for you to forget turtles. Kenny, if you get rid of the turtle, Daddy will get you anything you want, all right? Hmm. It's a promise. Yes? Tell me what you'd like best of all. What I'd like best of all is... What? Tell us. To keep it. Kenny, it's for your own good. If you don't, I'll throw it away when you're at school. And you know I'll do it. You'd better get used to the idea and get rid of it. I know it's hard, but it's really all for the best, right? And soon you won't think of it. You understand? Mm-hmm. Tipped over there. How you doing? Hmm, well, hey, so that's what a tree on Earth looks like. Yeah. See, I like the way the barium frost matches his left lower mandible fluid stabilizer. It's very refreshing and stylish all around. I'm pleased you picked Crow to freeze. Yeah, well, it was a completely an aesthetic decision, Servo. You know, he's the most spindly of you robots, and it looks more like a tree on Earth, you know? And thank goodness for that. Well, uh, don't get too uh, uppity because uh, I've been scouting you for uh, maybe the Frosty the Snowman uh, carbon, oh, yeah, cryogenetically sealed uh, lawn ornament to be strapped to the hull of the ship maybe next year. Anything to serve you, Joel, my master figurehead and center of my life. Beep. 
Stroll, I really hate it when you program me to answer that way. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it's just what I do sometimes. It's what I like to do. Anyway, uh, Kamba, That's can twisted. we... Well, I may be, but uh, Kamba, can you uh, put us up? Uh, maybe let's have a Punky Brewster slate. Uh, we're going to do a phone message here and do the lettering in bold oh. and up on the CG on to now. Still haven't said who does your hair. Uh -oh. oh, he didn't watch the credits last uh -huh. week, did he? Some of you know what we mean. Cambot, let's roll the credits and stop at the thing we're looking for. Also, people, it's not the end of the show. We're just going to show the credits, okay? Let's see that. Remember. Everything's rolling one nicely. That's you. Yep. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's you again. Yeah. Uh, hmm. That's a puppet operator, Joel. No, it's nothing, really. See, there it is. There, there it the is. Answer. Maybe watch next time. He could have just flushed it. The sea. Good inside. Kenny, Kenny, are you all right? He's a kind and loving Kenny. turtle. Just misunderstood. Ah! He wants to sing. Kenny, Kenny. You're safe now. You're safe now. Kenny, what is it? Wake up. Snap out of it. I was so scared. Step out. Gamera saved me, didn't he? Yes. Gamera saved your life. Because he knows I like turtles. Gamera liked you. Gamera sure, must Timmy. have a good heart. Yes. Gamera's a good turtle. Yeah. He's a good he turtle, good. Timmy. He is good. It's all yes, good. You're going to be okay, Timmy. This must be the hospital where they're taking Timmy. Excuse me, Dr. Hidaka. Yes? Could you tell us what your next expedition is? No, I don't know yet. Will you be returning to the Arctic on another ship? Dr. Hidaka is once on the telephone. Excuse me, I must take that call. There you are, sir. 
Yes, hello. Hidaka here. Huh? That's fantastic. Yes, I'll come right away. Good news. It's incredible. That was the university. Gamera has just been sighted near Hokkaido. Oh. Please arrange for plane tickets. Yes. Dr. Hidaka, may I? I'll see you very shortly. Dr. Hidaka. More and more reports are coming in about the devastation caused by Gamera. Though some of these come from unreliable sources. Gamera is said to be seen everywhere. More about Gamera. Does he disappear in one area? Is Kenny sleeping? He is yes, he was very tired. Mm -hmm. He misses that turtle. To find a turtle, you gotta think like a turtle. And I think you can handle it. You there? Tibby? 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 Like the turtle's gonna call out if he hears him. Hmm? Is that what we Tibby. can expect? You say Tippy one more time. I'm gonna belt you. Tippy. Stop it. Tippy. Stop it. Tippy. Where's Tippy? Tippy, why are you hiding? Now listen, I'll be back for you tomorrow. It's not a rock, it's a two-way radio connected to the turtle. Hi. Hello. How did you get here? It wasn't very friendly of the two of you to give me the slip. Not polite. Didn't You're they miss to, you back at your trying office? Trying to ditch you, nope. can't you I'm see that? I'm supposed to cover the Gamera story. My armband for the airport. No ticky, Captain, no shirty. You still my inspiration. I'll follow you anywhere. Anywhere. That's enough. What's the latest on Gamera? Still not found. Hmm. We must find him soon. Or there'll be chaos everywhere. And a lot of turtle food missing. What I think they noise? just found Gamera. Know. Maybe an earth tremor. Try to trace it. Maybe a giant turtle. Maybe a model of an airplane. Maybe an underpaid Japanese actor. Gamera sighting. Heading for the geothermal power plant. Come in, come in, come in. Gamera sighting. Come in. Follow me. He must be going there to warm his bones. Geothermal power plant. Careful. Don't get too close. And don't Hold step it. on him. Hello. How do you do, Commander? I'm Dr. Hidaka of Tokyo University. Hello. And I'm his assistant. Mm. Who are you? Oh, I'm from a Tokyo newspaper. I'm sorry, but reporters are not allowed here. Oh, excuse me, Commander, but, uh, but this gentleman is a friend. He was on the Arctic expedition with us, and, uh, and he knows a great deal about Gamera. I'm sure you'll find his presence and collaboration very useful. Oh, I see. You can stay then. You can start. Yes, sir. Yesterday morning, Gamera destroyed a lighthouse near this seaport. And right afterwards, it dived into the sea. Then it was seen heading for the geothermal power plant. The geothermal power plant? What is that? Allow me to explain. A large volcanic zone passes through this area, and high temperature vapors used to rise from below. By drilling through the volcano, we trap steam of 1,000 degrees centigrade and generate electricity with it. You mean the steam actually reaches a thousand degrees centigrade? That's right. Nothing could ever survive at such high intensity temperatures. Don't you think we could use it to uh, destroy Gamera? I'm not so sure it's possible. Gamera has survived even after atomic radiation and a thousand degrees wouldn't affect him. Dr. Hidaka, do you know of any countermeasures to destroy him? No, not yet. What's the station's maximum capacity? About 350,000 kilowatts. 350,000. There's just a chance it might work. Commander, 
Come in. Come in, please. Commander here. What is it? We're ready. Standing by. Roger. Everything's set. We can attack now, Doctor. No, not just yet. Maybe we can do it without a shot. It'll be a lot better for all. You think we can? Try to reason with the monster. Everything ready? Yes, sir. There you are, sir. Thank you. It's approaching the wires. Throw the switches. 100,000 kilowatts. Throw the switches again. This time, maximum power. The electrical shocks don't seem to bother Gamma at all. Incredible. It looks as if Gamma is even stronger than before. As if the electricity gives it renewed energy. Is that possible, Doctor? It charges it like a battery. Commander? Yes, sir? I think you should attack now. Yes, sir. Attack! Yes, sir! Fire all cannons! He's probably going to use that as a giant facial steamer or something. It looks like we failed. We must find a stronger weapon. I'll have to go back to the university. Yes, but they uh, don't worry. I won't be that away could take long. years. I must consult a colleague, and in the meantime, I want you to evacuate everybody. Understand, Commander? Yes, sir. Good. Maybe Thank just you. a refresher course or something, but a holy going back to school, I don't know. And that's how things stand, Professor Morassi. Our ancient legends did mention fire eating turtles. But in the 20th century, I must admit it's very difficult to believe. But it's true. Gamera doesn't seem to have any weakness. However, there is something I can say. What's that, Doctor? Gamera's body must be stronger than metal. And if that's true, the situation is even more serious than we thought. It has the power to convert organic matter into inorganic matter. Then that means nuclear weapons are totally useless against it. Yes, that's it. It also means it can really bore us if he wants explosions only seems to revitalize it, giving it unlimited energy resources. Then what we must do is, is find some counterforce that will neutralize it, right? Mm. Flubber. And as for the markings on this stone here, I'm not sure they represent waves. But the Eskimo said they were. The Eskimo was only repeating old stories of folk tales. But perhaps these carvings can unravel a great mystery. In the fire. Commander, I believe we ought to call UN headquarters. We must use their missiles. You're right. Contact them immediately. Yes, sir. Now you. I'm Dr. Morassi. Sir? Have you all your weapons in place? Yes, sir. I guarantee that Gamera won't escape us again. 
We have even requested extra missiles from the U.S. forces. Uh -huh. Commander, all the missiles are in firing position. Good. Start firing. No, wait, Commander. Don't you gamma off. Don't you gamma off. He's good, he's good. Yes, it might be a mistake. Maybe we shouldn't use those missiles. Why not? It's the only way to kill that monster. Gamma is a creature that feeds on fire. Using missiles would not do any good, would only cause unnecessary destruction. No, don't use missiles. I see. Sergeant, call it off. Yes, sir. Sir, thanks a lot. Gamera saved my life for me once. Gamera is really a nice turtle. Gamera is a good turtle, isn't he, sir? Well, son, I just pray that you're right. That kid's going to have a lot of problems when he grows up. Commander! What is it? The plant is completely destroyed. The entire installation. I see. You heard that, Doctor? Everything's destroyed. There's nothing we can do against such terrifying force as that. Dr. Hidaka, is there anything else we can try? There is one thing that has just occurred to me. Put salt on his tail. Nature works in mysterious ways. Gamera is a creature that feeds on fire. It withstands great heat. I wonder if it would succumb to the opposite. I mean, very low temperatures. Temperatures below zero. Something mm. like a deep freeze treatment. Well, it is a method that we haven't used yet. This is still a military secret. But the army has a bomb that can freeze just about anything. You mean it can really freeze anything? Yes. Just about. It was about. only developed recently. <laughs> they tried it in the jungle to freeze all sorts of animals and plants. I think it's the best chance we've got left. So I think we should try it. Do you agree? Yes. I see. I like it. Do you really think it might work? It's worked very well so far. I think it'll work. In that case, we should use it against Gamera, Commander. Yes. There's one thing. It's only effective for ten minutes. Only ten minutes? It's still experimental, and after that, things thaw quickly. So we've only got ten minutes in which to trap Gamera. What happens if Gamera revives beforehand? I don't know. It's a chance we've got to take. Piper Cub is Gamera's own natural enemy. Gamera has started moving. Gamera has started moving. Gamera's Joel moving. has started moving. Joel has started moving. We mustn't lose any time. Yes, you're right. We've only ten minutes, not another second. Yamra has just started to head toward Devil's Mountain. Roger. I just hope this plan's going to work. There's a resort town below. We have to act quickly. Freezer bombs only last for ten minutes. So we have to deactivate camera within that time. Is that clear? So be careful. If we make a mistake, the whole plan will fail. Camera will wake up and who knows what will happen then. So remember, we've only got one chance. Dr. Hidaka, everything is ready. Good. got a very good show. Why don't you hire Godzilla or something? He'd be pretty good. <laughs> All right. Thanks for calling in. We really appreciate you callers and uh, keep the calls coming in because we really appreciate it. It helps mm. us keep uh, what we got going, going. Anyway, uh, that gives me an idea. Uh, Gypsy, why don't you do that impression that you do? Huh? You know, the one we worked on at dinner time last night. Ooh. You know, Godzilla. No, 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 no. no. Oh, don't worry, honey. Come on, it's no, funny. No, I think it's funny. Embarrassing. No, come on, do it. It's no. it's cute. No, all right. Okay. 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 Just do it. Okay. Okay. Boom. 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 Yeah, that's good. Didn't she? She did a good job, didn't she? That's good, honey. Anyway, 
Uh, the, a lot of people have uh, recognized that this first Gameron film is in black and white, and since there's been so much controversy over Ted Turner colorizing all those classic MGM movies, I thought it'd be time to do a popular opinion survey. Use your phones. Call us at uh, 623-7655. And now, uh, Kamba, could you put the uh, messages up on the screen or the uh, quiz questions? First quiz question is... Is Ted Turner dumb enough to colorize the beginning to The Wizard of Oz? Go in with your answer. Right. Question number two. Does it bother Ted Turner that people watch his colorized films on black and white TV? Go in, let us know what you think. <laughs> Question number three. Given Ted's obsession with colorizing things, is it possible he's the unwanted love child of Ike and Tina Turner? Give us a call. Tell us your answer. Now, give us a call at 623-7655. Or just leave a message with us. Anyway, we got movie sign. Let's go. See ya. This angers a turtle. What a picture! This is the scope of the century! I must tell us when to start. Doctor, ten minutes, beginning now. Start! Start! What, are you going to pull the ground out from under him? I don't think so. It looks like he's going to move again. The freezing pumps are nearly set. They'll begin to go up soon. How many minutes? Eight more minutes. Hurry, Commander. All right, everyone, clear out. Let's go. Come on. Let's Come go. On. Uh, I like it. There isn't much time left. Dr. Hidaka, we must hurry. Don't worry, we're ready to blast. Yes, but remember, Commander, turtles do not have the ability to turn over by themselves. So if we're patient and wait here a few minutes, it's bound to die shortly. But this turtle can fly. Hey, he can fly. Don't get too Doctor, excited. Your plan was successful. Yes. And if Gamera dies on that spot, we'll have a precious specimen, its whole body. Yes. And turtle stakes all around. Commander, look. It's pulled in its head and feet. You see, Doctor, it doesn't fly anymore. He <laughs> <laughs> must have ate a bunch of radishes. It's almost like a flying saucer. The 
hadn't counted on that. Now, would you consider that a plot device? Catherine, have you got the stone? Yes. He's got to come back for it. Professor, the mystery is solved. The lines don't represent waves, but clouds. They were trying to tell us that Gamera was a flying creature. They should have made a video. Why, it's the same creature that I saw. Oh, then the flying object you saw was Gamera. Yes, exactly. You oh, mean the flying the thing he saw was those... Gamera? We see terrible things if we live too long. Yes, it's true. Oh. Oh! Oh. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. Out of the way. What are all these stones? Why are you carrying them around with you, Kenny? I suppose this is another foolishness of yours. Now, Kenny, it's Gamera's new house. Huh? Gamera's new house? Kenny's from Gamera's family. rocks as much as he loves turtles. Gamera has been flying all over the world. But as soon as it's sighted, it manages to disappear immediately. It's a shame we can't find exactly where it is now. Yes, but let's be thankful it hasn't attacked any places yet. Yes. Yes? Hello. How do you do, Catherine? How do you do, sir? Kenny, this is a pleasant surprise. Yes, I told Kenny that when he was visiting Tokyo, he ought to come and see us. Oh, good idea. However, it is sooner than I expected. Yes. You see, Doctor, our town had a lighthouse and Gamera destroyed it. And now it's been built again. Our house was destroyed, too, and now they're building that. So we decided to come to Tokyo to stay with an uncle of ours who lives here. Oh, so you're a tourist now. There's plenty to see and lots of monuments to visit. Do you see that structure there? That's Tokyo Tower. Doctor? Mm hmm? Can you help Gamera's me? Is still in hiding? Yes. But we're searching for it, Kenny. Gamera must be terribly lonely. Gamera's really very kind. Gamera loves all children. Sure. You know, Kenny has a vivid imagination. Didn't for he save appetizers. my life? Gamera must be very lonely and must need friends. I'm sure he must be very hungry, too. Tibby's little and Gamera's big. Except they're both in the same family. I know it. I know they are. Poor kid. How's he ever going to sort this thing out? And they're both good and gentle. Sure they are. Hello, Ikiro. You look very busy. I see you're still carrying those heavy boxes around. <laughs> Any fresh fish today? Fresh fish? <laughs> Nobody eats fresh fish, just that canned stuff. And it weighs a ton, believe me. <laughs> Come back, give me my stones. Kitty! You better give me my stones back. I don't have your stones. Yes, you got them. I saw you steal them. No, I didn't. All right, Hit give him. him back his stones. And threw them away. Then you'd better go and get them. You know what's good for you. All right, you heard what I said. Uh, you see, I, I threw them off the bridge into the river. Into the river? You little rat. Don't worry, Kenny. I'll get you other stones. Just like those. All right? There aren't any like those. Kenny! He's crazy, crying over a couple of stones. Shut up. <laughs> Beat it. Oh, it's all right. Thank you. In a way, I'm glad he threw the stones away. Kenny's gone. Are cookie. you all right? 
getting farther and farther from Now, reality. don't act like that, Kim. You're a big boy. Sulking like that isn't going to bring the stones back again, you know? Oh. Kenny, there are lots of others there. I'll go looking, too. All right, Kenny? We'll when you get together. up in the morning, Kenny, we'll get you a whole box of gravel. Okay? <laughs> Scoundrel, asleep already? He's putting rocks in his mouth. <laughs> This is what we know so far about Gamera. First of all, he can withstand very high temperatures. And secondly, he's able to fly in the air by jetting fire. And thirdly, he has certain organs that function nearly like a hydroelectric plant. <laughs> generate a mysterious energy. Here, we can see evidence of his tremendous destructive power. He can also set up magnetic fields that jam our radio communications. Well, you caught him at a bad time. Coal and petroleum, substances that emanate flames to replenish his energy. The nuclear energy of an A-bomb, which is the most powerful energy mankind possesses today, may appeal to Gamera and could even be his primary target of attack. For a snack. I can only repeat these words of caution. Gamera is a threat to us all, and if he is not killed, it could mean the destruction of the world. Did you hear that? The situation is very serious. I have here the final report. As of today, the laboratory is holding 33,000 grams of uranium and 300,000 curies of isotopes. Gamera could instinctively be drawn to this energy and then head straight for this area. Yes, maybe it's advisable to hide it in a special shelter. We could hide the copper mines. He might not detect it there. Yes. There's no load of fish today. We're going to have to go into another business. Yeah, you're right. Maybe you could roast you, those there's sticks. There's wrong with the water. All those nuclear tests, they're throwing the tides off. It's a scientist. In a few years, they'll kill every living creature. Yeah. 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 This afternoon, a series of floods caused by a reversal of tidal waves inundated Tokyo, devastating whole areas of the city. It's estimated that nearly 3,000 shops and houses were destroyed. We'll now show you film sequences. According to the communique of the Meteorological Observatory, the source of the flood remains a complete mystery as phenomena of this kind are said to be impossible in this area. The authorities are now investigating the origin of the tide, which has also brought about a decrease of marine life along the Pacific coast. This problem will be dealt with in a special session of Parliament as it may constitute a serious threat to the food supply. Furthermore, there were a number of collisions at sea caused by an interruption of communications as a result of the jamming of radio waves. However, this is still being studied by the experts. There's going to be a special conference later this evening at the university, during which Dr. Hidaka will talk to high-ranking officers of the army. Unfortunately, we are not yet certain what caused these catastrophes, though various theories have been presented by our leading scientists. However, if I may, I should like to give you my own personal opinion of the events. What's your opinion? It is my deepest conviction that Gamera is the true cause of all these sudden disasters. For instance, it is quite possible that he may be hiding somewhere along our coast. And if that's true, then Gamera is what is undoubtedly disturbing the natural sequence of tides. And this could have been the cause of these recent floods. However, to investigate the case more thoroughly, we have invited leading scientists from all over the world, and they have responded most promptly to our urgent appeals. I am sorry to say things are not encouraging. Every method used so far has not led to any concrete result. Gamera seems able to resist attacks by all offensive weapons known to us. Therefore, I am forced to admit there may be even greater catastrophes ahead. Professor Morassi, before coming here, we attended a special meeting at UN headquarters, and they have recommended you're using a different strategy. And what is that? Well, they believe that you ought to put Plan Z into operation immediately, using the facilities you're building at Oshima in the mountains. Well, you mean that ignore them? still in the experimental stage yet. 
Using it on Gamera might exhaust its resources. Its main purpose is to advance peaceful scientific work, and it's really not designed for a military-like undertaking of this sort. And if we failed, it would set our work back at least 20 years. Furthermore, the facilities are not ours alone. This is a joint venture created with the help of the United States and the Soviet Union, and we would require their permission to use it for the purpose of destroying Gamera. Hand to control tower! Please come in! Please come in! Hand to control tower! Hand to control tower! Please come in! Why don't you answer? Oh! Look up there! Looks like Spiny Norm and the Hedgehog. It's a good thing they ducked. They just wanted to be cleared for landing. I don't see what the big deal is. Politics of dancing, though. Hurry! You hear that? It's Gamera! Hurry, hurry! Everybody run! Don't you want to live? Get moving! Ah, cool it, will you? Gamera doesn't scare us. They came to We're dance. We're not afraid of a turtle, are we? Come on, music, music! Will you shut up? I said everybody out! Get out! Have all of you gone crazy? to put up. Make an excellent puppet theater for him, though. Kill roaches. Evacuate the city at once. Everybody is ordered to leave the city at once. Kenny, hurry! We must leave right away. Hurry! Camera is coming to take us home, Kenny. You mustn't lose any time, Kenny. Kenny, did you hear what I said? Camera, it's me, Kenny. 
Don't do anything bad. Good Kenny. Try to reason with the monster. Once he finds you, he'll take care of everything. It's going to be okay. Everything is fine. We got another message, a couple more actually, uh, Servo. So let's, uh, Kamba, can you give it to me up on the blue chicken slate that you got in the archives? Uh, Helvetica Bowl. Yeah, and give it to me one time, heavy on the 30 weight, my friend. Yeah, Joel, I'm a member of, uh, of the Coalition of Friends for Giant Mutant Turtles, and, and I'm just glad that you showed this movie tonight to help promote our cause. <clears throat> and, and, you know, giant mutant turtles aren't really all that bad. It's, you know, they breathe fire and shit, but, you know, that's cool. They're good at weenie roads and stuff. And, and I want to thank you for showing the movie again. And, Servo, just to show we don't play favorites around There's here, Mystery and? Science Theater. What? There's an and? Sorry, go on. An and? Anyway, just to show we don't play favorites, here's a message from the other side of the fence. This time, Kamba, give it to me on the uh, globe, uh, the globe slate, uh, and uh, Bolt Helvetica type again. Yeah, Joel, I'm from a friend of a coalition of giant slimy lizards with long, nasty tongues, and and we think that the the turtle coalition is way out of line. The fight was rigged. If you didn't see it, I, yeah, you saw it. But, the fight looked like it was rigged. The turtle had a couple low blows there, and 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 we don't think it's right. So we want to. We're going to stage a protest in front of your house. Well, uh, I'm no on, uh, giant mutated turtle wrestling commissioner, but I do know what I like, and that's plenty of action, fast and furious, isn't it? Yep. So no uh, old fart action. Right. Come on, put up the footage. And yeah, let's see the footage, it. and we can make a couple Start. quick decisions. Do it. Do it. Do it. Here's the point of contention kill, right here. Kill. The He's illegal tail hole. Look at that, gorilla. Backbreaker coming up. Oh, oh the burning one foot. But he's got the bulk to withstand that kind of treatment, luckily. Uh-oh, battering tongue. Oh, he's turned around. He's been he's turtle back. He's rolled into the lake. He's getting ready for the flying suplex. He's tucked into his shell. It's a good decoy. Headbutt, man. Can we expect a headbutt? Uh-oh. Uh oh! Flame to the face. Could that be right? Well, uh, actually, uh, what did you think of that, Servo? Well, there were some discrepancies, but all in all, I'd say that's right. That's what I'd say. We got movie signed. We'll see you on the other side. Mr. Hadaka, I think the Z plan must be supervised only by United Nations scientists. I realize that Gamera is very dangerous. However, we must insist on total control. As for my government, I assure you, Doctor, you'll have our utmost support. Only What's your the government, Bulgaria? Supervised by the United Nations. I understand, thank you. And I appreciate your help. My country will always be indebted. There's sure, one thing until we we're in ready for another 24 hours, and that's at the earliest. The question is, what action can be taken against Gamera in the meantime? Well, you see, as a zoologist, I believe that Gamora's violent nature stems mainly from a deficiency in his energy supply. Right Maybe now, his childhood. Gamora is at a coal processing plant, devouring flames, its favorite food. The flames will die out in eight hours, and at that point, Gamora will be in a much weaker condition. And he gets grouchy. In that case, to keep the risk to an absolute minimum, Gamora should be kept there for 24 hours. That's right. And to do that, we must bring petroleum. 
And keep the fires burning till we are totally ready with Z Plan. The railroad. We must get away. It's just a train. That's right, Kenny. Run for the train. You do whatever anybody else doesn't do. That's your nature, Kenny. Emra needs help, Kenny. See? Every one of our storage tanks will be wrecked. I understand. Okay. Get going! All right! Camera. Yeah, what is it? Did it work? Huh? Another tank. Okay, right away. All right, another tank. They need another 24 hours. You better get going. Move it! That kid's trouble. They want to send another tank. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll stay. Hop on it, Kenny. That'll really help Gamera. Gamera? He thinks they're hot dogs. get killed. Gamera! See, Gamera's really good inside, isn't he, Ken? To just pop that Let me kid. go! Let me go! Just beat up on him, you guys. You know, you nearly got us both killed. You better go home. No! Gamera's my friend. He's good. Yeah, I know, I know. Here, let's put this <laughs> on. Go on. Go on. Oh, the camera's man. good, Kenny. Camera you. You've got to try to get to him. To signal him. Gentlemen, I have excellent news. I am proud to announce that Z Plan has been completed and is at your disposal. The world's latest technology stands ready for your struggle against Gamera. The question is, how Let can we clap lure on? Gamera to our new installation located at Oshima? I'm sure it's quite obvious to everyone present that we will not be able to carry out our plan if we cannot get Gamera there. Professor Murasi, I have a suggestion. Dr. Hadaka, please continue. To make certain Gamera goes to Oshima, we must use special tactics. You see... Right now, the whole city of Oshima is being evacuated. The city is off limits to civilians. Not even the press is allowed to enter the area. Seems like a perfect place for Kenny to go. Well, it's goodbye for a while. It's not fair. 
We've always worked together. Shutting me out isn't nice. It's a pity they just don't want reporters along. But we'll come back soon. Sure. Just the same. I hate being separated from my goddess. <laughs> well, goodbye. Marassi is staying here. If you want news of us, contact him at the university. Right. Goodbye. See you soon. The ocean. Birthplace of all life. Has Dr. Hidaka left for Ashima yet? Yes. He was on the very last flight. I certainly hope Gamera goes to Ashima soon. The action. Perfect. Stow away in that big crate of Gamera bait. Professor Morassi, a visitor for you. My dear, what are you doing here? Professor, it's Kenny. I don't know where he is. I've looked for him everywhere. We were going to leave the city this morning and... And, and then he suddenly vanished. You see, he was always talking about Gamma, so I thought that maybe... Kenny, Gamma! There's a connection. Yeah, okay. I got it. Sure, okay. The last load's just arrived. Right. Okay, they'll take care of it. That kid Kenny's dumber than a bag of hammers, I'm telling you. Yes. Mm -hmm. That'll be the most effective strategy. Let go of me! You're coming with Let me! Let go! Oh. What's going on? A stowaway, sir. A little boy. A little boy? Why, it's Kenny. A kooky little boy. Here he boy. is, sir. You see, I was worried about Gamera. Oh. Hmm. Cuckoo. Kenny, you're a friend of Gamera, huh? Mm-hmm. Kenny, let's go. Well, it's time. Let's begin. Dr. Hadaka, are you sure it's possible to bring Gamera here? Of course. The typhoon's approaching. It'll be before then. Come in, please. This is Oshima. You can start Z plan. Dr. Hadaka. Giant rubber bands will stall the monster when attached to this tiny model of a Japanese schooner. Then toy planes will fly by. Roll out the barrels. I think we should send Kenny to talk to the monster. Nora, I have good news. They found Kenny. He's in Oshima. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Gamera asked about you, Kenny. He wants to know when you're going to visit him. Yes, hello. Hidaka speaking. Hidaka speaking. The tanker has arrived. You're ready. You can begin. Yes, right now. You may give the order. Stand by. Take your position. likes it. Maybe he'll 
act like a giant jiffy pop Pidaka, container. Dr. Pidaka, Gamera's moving. He's passing right in front of us. Wonderful. Gamera is heading this way. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Yes, everything's ready. All right. Is it coming? Is it coming? Please be patient. Gamera's a fire eater. We bring you the latest news regarding the typhoon. The typhoon suddenly changed its course and is heading in a northeastern direction. If it continues on its present course, it will very shortly hit the Japanese mainland, causing untold devastation and destruction. Dr. Hidaka, what shall we do? There is nothing we can do but wait now. Gamera! Gamera is coming! Gamera is coming! Gamera is coming! Gamera is coming! For Kenny Gamera. We have failed. There has to be another way. Dr. Hidaka, don't you think it's about time we start using Z Plan? No, we mustn't. Why not? Well, first of all, we haven't enough fuel to attack now would be pointless. I came along only to help you. I came by sea on, on that tanker there. I was worried about you. But did you start those fires? Yeah. Doctor, you must keep it burning. Make the flames higher. Gamera is drawn to fire. It will notice the fire and then land here. Yes, yes, I see. It's a great idea. Come on, give us a hand. Give us a hand. Camera will get really bored and go away. Catch your hair on fire. What do you know? No giant turtle can resist the rich taste of lava. In forts and quartz, straight out of the volcano. So 
just one little case. He's just looking for a little palm tree and a giant rock he can lay down on. in volcano heaven, that turtle. Request permission to land. Request granted. You can come in. The volcano stopped erupting. Okay, thank you. What a relief. There it is. There's no time now. I don't want to miss the Z plan. It's fantastic, isn't it? I can't believe that we're really here. Kenny! Hurry or you'll get left behind. We're going up. Congratulations. A complete success. Thank you. Stand by, please. Stand by, please. We're ready to proceed with Z plan. Start the flames. Now. Flip over giant flames. Giant flames are the only throw. thing Gamera understands. Whereas Gamera is the only thing Kenny understands. rocket of the Z-Plan, constructed with the combined efforts of the world's superpowers, was successfully launched just now with Gamera imprisoned inside. We could not destroy Gamera on Earth, but the Z-Plan, the last hope of mankind, succeeded in sending Gamera up to Mars. It was made possible only by the cooperation of the member countries of the United Nations, proving once again that such great achievements can only be realized through goodwill and mutual aid. Thank you. 
And to you, Professor Moriarty. Well, Catherine, I suggest you forget science and instead really become Alex's inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was a mistake. Well, Kenny, Gamera will be safe there. You happy? Yes, I'm glad he wasn't killed. I'm going to be an astronaut and ride in rockets, and I'll see Gamera again, right? <laughs> Golly, kid's worse than ever. Still isn't cured. Gamera! Bye, Kenny. I'll miss you. Everybody, thanks a lot for calling, and we really appreciate it up here on the yeah. satellite a lot, don't we, Gypsy? Yeah. Anyway, Cambot, could you put that number on the screen now? It's 623-7655. Give us a call and give us your responses. Anyway, uh, doesn't the tree look great, Gypsy? That's not a tree. That's gross. Well, yeah, but we couldn't. Uh, we don't have an actual tree up on the ship. Uh, what happened? Well, uh, why don't we run the uh, footage again, Cambot, and we'll show them that. Hey, Joel, I, I looked up suspended animation in the dictionary, and I don't think that this is going to be any good at all. Ah, ah, ah! See, I told you guys it would work. Well, it's not really beautiful, but why? Well, because it's, uh, we have a Christmas tree on Earth to represent um, a special time of giving. It's, that's Christmas, because we celebrate when the wise men came and gave gifts. To the Savior Child. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, we exchange them. What if you're Jewish? Well, if you're Jewish, then you celebrate Hanukkah, and the kids who are Jewish get to get to exchange gifts too. And it, that represents another miracle, where the lamp burned in the temple for eight days, and it only had enough fuel for one. Oil. Hmm. Fuel. Hmm. Hanukkah, Christmas. You be the judge. <laughs> Let's sing that song, O Tannenbach. O Tannenbach, O Tannenbach, how lovely are your appendages, O Tannenbach. Coming up, one night in the life of a disillusioned young mafioso who barks at an order to torch the tenement where his mother lives. Vincent Spano and Kate Vernon star in Alphabet City. Next. Sunday at noon, a retired railroad worker attempts to cross the country in a hot air balloon with his grandson. Jack Albertson and Adrienne Barbeau star in Charlie's Balloon on Minnesota's Movie Star, KTMA TV 23.